I think that we're, we're on the verge of creating some stability within our roster. It's just the problem that we have as of August 2010 is who is going to fill those question marks. And um, I would say that everybody's going to have a fair shot at it. Everybody's going to have equal opportunity. Our returning guys know that I have no problem with Joe starting here, Jimmy starting here, sliding DJ over, sliding Dwight up, moving Junior up. Uh, I'm going to play the guys uh, that are the toughest guys. I don't care how big they are. Uh, how it all plays out, I don't know. I, I think not to be not to give coach speak, but there there's a lot of unknowns. Uh, Reggie Smith uh, today is the first day he's ever been registered as a full time student in college. Um, Vander the same. Uh, Jamel we call him Mello the same. Uh, Devonte I call him Day Day the same. So we've got four guys that are in class today that have never been a college student <laughs> before. Uh, Jay Crowder, we don't have a picture of him. That tells you how new he is. Uh, he just got here yesterday for the first time. So now we've got five guys. We've got five guys that uh, today is their first day at a Division I institution. Combined at the one position, uh, we have 26 total minutes returning. Uh, now, I, I think bikes can shift over here. Uh, I think Vander can shift over here. We don't really recruit. Uh, position wise I know this is up here but we really play uh, we play like this and you're either on the left of the line or you're on the right of the line all of these guys are interchangeable anybody to the left is interchangeable and anybody to the right is interchangeable if you're to the left you're a perimeter guy if you're to the post guy if you're on the to the right you're a post guy you're on the interior but where we, where we have caused a lot of problems is we want to try to recruit guys that play right here on this line. Uh, Czar played on that line. Jimmy played on that line. Uh, Junior is a true point. Reggie is a true point. But, but the, all of these guys, I don't know that Mello can, but Jimmy Vander and DJ and Dwight, they could all initiate offense. The reason why Jimmy's had such success is since Jimmy has been here, if you were going by positions, Jimmy's played here, Jimmy's played here, Jimmy's played here, Jimmy's played here. And I think that, I think Jay's gonna have some of that. I think Jay, Jay will eventually be able to be here, 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 here. Um, wanna recruit guys that can pass, dribble, and shoot. Wanna recruit guys that are hard to guard. Uh, but, but if you were to summarize what we wanna recruit, we wanna recruit switchables. Guys that are switchable offensively, guys that are switchable defensively. Guys that can guard multiple positions, guys that can play multiple positions. Media-wise and uh, on the message boards and in the newspaper, it's who's going to replace Mo, who's going to replace Kubi, who's going to replace Czar. I understand. We'll figure it out. Uh, we won't figure it out this week. Uh, we won't figure it out in September. Uh, we won't have it figured out by the time we go to Big East Media Day, but we'll eventually figure it out. And what it'll turn out being is the guys that are the toughest are the guys that are going to play and their minutes will be in descending order relative to that. Our three toughest guys last year were those three guys. We'll see how it plays out, but I, I like the talent of our team. Uh, th there's a difference though between talent and talented. That ED uh, is extra dimension and, and we need some talented guys, not just some talent. That, that's talent. That's talent. What we've got to figure out in order to answer those questions are the talented guys. And that ED, the extra dimension, in my perspective, in our culture, in our world, is going to be the toughness. And so whoever the five toughest guys are, those are the guys that get to play the most.